got very unfortunate news about Kira Toriyama passing away. It's four o'clock right now, but yeah, I, mean, I I seen this when it first came out. I was like just going through Twitter and I was shocked to see this news about Kira Toriyama passing away. I uh, I n- never in my life I never cry for like someone. Let me take this fucking shit off. Uh, <clears throat> Never in my life that I cried for someone I don't know personally in real life or whatever. Um, or like someone that's not a friend or anything. But like this is different because Akira is like a main inspiration of me drawing. Everybody who used to follow me on my Twitter account knows that I used to draw a lot. You can see in my community tabs there's some drawings there. I wouldn't be drawing if it was for Kira Toriyama. And even though, you know, I don't really post drawings um, on my channel or anything like that. Or like, you know, my Twitter is deleted, so yeah, my other Twitter. Um, but if I, I wouldn't be drawing if it wasn't for Kira. And yeah, and I still draw till this day. Like, even though you guys don't see it, I still draw till this day. It's... It's heartbreaking, man. It's I can't believe it. He he impact like every like everywhere. Cartoons, um, people, life, people, um, inspirations and stuff like that. He he was a legend, man. Everywhere you go, nothing but Dragon Ball. And, you know, with us Latins, like Latinos, Latinas, whatever, uh, you know, I'm a Latino, and I love Dragon Ball. Uh, the moment I first saw it in CW for Kids, Toon's Eye, I immediately fell in love with it. Uh, like, just from the first episode. And after that, never missed an episode me and my brother always used to just watch it every Saturday morning. And we, like, to the point we just missed karate class just to watch the episodes. And, like, that moment you just, we never, we was completely blind. We don't know anything, just completely blind to Dragon Ball. Because, you know, internet didn't exist, like, really, it wasn't really a big thing back then. Like, we had, like, the internet thing, like, my mom had a phone, but we was, like, never on it because, um, we always, I mean, yeah, we don't really use the internet that much. We had, we did have a Kindle Fire, but, like, never used it that much because we was too busy playing Dragon Ball figures. Um, anyways, um, getting sidetracked, um, what was I talking about again? Bro, my fucking head is hurting. Oh, yeah, so, um. Well, we was blind to Dragon Ball, and we saw Goku going Super Saiyan for the first time ever. Chills was going through my body. It was like the most insane moment of Dragon Ball I have ever seen. Me and my brother was shocked. We couldn't stop talking about it. Um, we used to, we keep drawing and drawing Super Saiyan Goku and stuff. It was just like the most iconic Dragon Ball moment ever. Another thing that's iconic about Dragon Ball, the Kamehameha, you'll always see the Kamehameha ever, like everywhere. Um, like shows and TV, cartoons, whatever. Um, me and my brother went to this mall. We, this is like, we were still blind to Dragon Ball. Uh, we saw like a couple of bootleg figures, you know, like, um, it was like a Chinese store, I believe, like in the mall. Um, I got myself a base Goku and a future chunks figure. I didn't even know whose future chunk was. I, all I know, I just bought a mysterious Super Saiyan character that I did not even know who it was. Um, and then my brother, 
I got Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and I believe it was Gohan. I could have tell you. The, the figure looks off. I, I think I'm positive it was Gohan. Um, so, the point is, when I was watching Dragon Ball Z Kai again, because um, it was airing on Nicktoons, and they were showing Future Trunks for the first time on Nicktoons. I was, me and my brother was there for that. Seeing that for the first time, and it's a new episode. New episode. My brother immediately told me, oh, that's the figure you have. I say, oh my god, it is. It's the figure I have. I vividly remember, like, oh my god, man. <laughs> like, I remember that moment, that, if you've seen Future Chunks going Super Saiyan, he instantly became my favorite character till this day, he's still my favorite character, Future Chunks is like one of the coolest Dragon Ball characters I have ever seen, and he still is till this day, even Dragon Ball Super Chunks, like, I don't care, he's still Future Chunks, he's still my favorite character. I mean, like, I'll defend Super Trunks and Rage Trunks for him, because they look cool. I, like, I don't care, like, it, like how Rage Trunks is an, is an ass for transformation. Dragon Ball is just there to, like, enjoy stuff, man. Like, who cares, like, the power, like, there's, like, a ass pull transformation. Like, Beast Gohan. People hate on Beast Gohan. Like, just because it's an ass pull transformation... I don't care. I still love Beast Gohan, bro. Gohan is back, and he, he's fighting again. Like, he's he's a fucking legend, man. <sighs> Honestly, I, I'm not even. My head is not right right now. Like, I this is like the best time for me to record. While I, while I still have like, see, I can't even think right now. It's because I'm just losing my mind. I still can't believe Incurio's dead. It's just, it doesn't feel real. If it, it, it really doesn't. And, like, he, he doesn't deserve to die yet. He's 68, and he still had, like, a lot of things to work on. Dragon Ball, Daima, and uh, some other stuff. I don't even know, but he was probably working on other stuff, too. And he's not going to be there for it. He's not gonna be there when Dragon Ball died my first air, man. Like this shit fucking sucks. I don't I don't know, man, like this is insane. Like everyone is coming together and you know, you know, before I carry out telling you I'm a deaf and I don't know. It's just this is like a very heartbreaking moment. He's really put an impact. To everyone. Man, I remember me and my brother and my friend. We used to, like, go outside of school, like, in the middle. Not in the middle of the night, but, like, it was, like, nighttime. Like, when it was, like, a PTA. <laughs> we was, like, a, it was, like, a PTA room. Uh, I, Me and my brother. And we had a good friend named Brian. He's, he was really cool. Um, He was, like... Pretending to be Dragon Ball characters. I like I remember this one specifically. Uh there was like a bully. I think his name is Justin. Uh he was a bully and we was defending ourselves by pretending to be Dragon Ball characters. Uh I remember um I think I was Broly. Uh, my brother was Goku. I don't know about my friend though. I I don't remember but like <laughs> I remember he used to like, like uh, kick his ass be by pretending to be a Dragon Ball character. <laughs> That's how he just defeated a bully. It, it's it was funny though. I mean, yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> and I remember like, like fifth grade in summertime. Uh, I had like two other friends that we were standing against bullies by doing like. <laughs> I did like a Kamehameha to a kid's stomach. I don't fucking know. He was in so much pain though. 
I just, it's all because I did a comment how high to the stomach. <laughs> oh yeah, man. I did. I'm hey. I did Dragon Ball moves to stand up to a bully. Yeah, that's how much. That's how you know I was very dedicated to Dragon Ball. Uh, you know, I used to shout out Kamehameha, try to go Super Saiyan, trying to do the instant transmission and everything. <sighs> Dragon Ball is my life, man. I don't know what I will do without Dragon Ball. Honestly, without Dragon Ball, I don't know. My, I probably might be into like Nintendo way more. I mean, I'm still into Nintendo, of course, like Mario and stuff, Sonic. But my like the main thing I really love is Dragon Ball, and right now I'm wearing a Dragon Ball shirt, and I didn't even put it on just because of what happened. I've been having a Dragon Ball shirt on, and hear that unfortunate news, and of course it's it's Beast Gohan. I I really wish we could at least see a Kira Toriyama take on Beast Gohan, because. Uh, by his notes, he did draw Beast Gohan, but we never get to see it. And the Beast Gohan sheet we seen is Kibota, I believe. And uh, it's just it's not a carry of Beast Gohan. I want to see a carry of Beast Gohan. Like, if we get to see that someday in the future, that would like that'll be like one of the most important things to me, man. Like, Beast like. Future Trunks, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and Beast Gohan are the three most important things to me in Dragon Ball. Um, of course, Super Saiyan 4 and like other stuff too, but like those three are like my main favorite. I, I don't know, like Super Saiyan 4 is not created by Kiri Toriyama, whatever, but you know, just a thought of. It existing because of Dragon Ball is still amazing, man. Super Saiyan 4 is like easily the best transformation design ever. Um, even though I, you know, I love Beast Gohan as number one, uh, but Super Saiyan 4 is like easily it's just it's just scream Saiyan, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm. <laughs> I'm gonna we're gonna miss a carrier, man. I I don't now I'm curious like how how the staff team is gonna go forward with Dragon Ball. <sighs> um, like um what what's gonna happen with Dragon Ball Daima? Did like did they already have a plan on like what's gonna happen? Like start to finish? Uh, they're gonna try to like think like a carrier and assume what he's gonna do for the series. The last piece of art we got for Kiryu Toriyama was the Dragon Ball Daima art. It's it sucks, man. I hope we can see more Akira art that we haven't seen before, probably before Daima, but. I really hope we get to see more than the hiding behind the scenes because I still want that Beast Gohan <laughs> carry your art, man. Like, that, that, I'm pretty sure that looks sick, sick man. Like, wow, doubt. I don't, I don't want to make the video too long, but yeah, again, thank you for everything, Akira Toriyama. We love you, man. Rest in peace. Fly high, man. Like, for real. This is. I'm like, oh, bro, I'm so destroyed. I'm still like, I'm up till 4 a.m. And I'm probably going to do shit in the fucking morning, man. I don't know. But, oh, God, man. 68 is too young to die, man. 68. That's it, guys. Peace.